Golf Tournament team and the tournament's most valuable player, <coughs> Andrew Panzarella, and also on the stage is Luke Johnson, who's also on the uh, West Regional All Tournament team. Coach Haxtell, would you like to make a brief opening statement? Well, I think you would rather hear would like to talk to the three gentlemen uh, to my left, and that's who you should be talking to. Uh, it was a great team effort by, uh, by everybody uh, in our locker room, and uh, it was a great battle with St. Cloud State. Uh, another game with a ton of pace and uh, highly competitive, but again, it comes down to um, making key plays at critical times of a hockey game, and uh, these guys to my left and their teammates did that tonight. Thank you, Coach. Let's start with the uh Student athletes, questions for them. All right, let's go all the way in back. Yeah, we'll bring it back to you, Steve. We'll start in the back there. <laughs> Steve Carlson, Dakota News Network. Zane, uh, your thoughts after that early goal off the faceoff, and uh, maybe how that affected your play the rest of the game. Uh, yeah, it uh, it was a quick faceoff play. Obviously, uh, the guy made a nice. Uh, little chip. Um, we've been kind of working on our face-offs or doing a little bit of pre-scouting on, on their face-offs and stuff because we knew that they have a couple good shooters uh, that like to do roll rounds and stuff. But uh, yeah, a quick play like that just caught me off guard and uh, I think I caught our whole team off guard. But uh, you know what, uh, really, resiliency has been in our, our vocab as a team, I think, the whole year. So it, uh, it's no surprise the boys uh, battled up and we really put it uh, Put it all together and came back. Uh, came back strong. KBRR. Uh, my question is for Andrew. Andrew, can you tell me a little bit about the journey today? You didn't know if you were going to start, and then you go ahead and score your first goal the whole season. Yeah. Um, this morning, uh, I knew that we had some guys that were feeling a little under the weather, and that I might get a chance. So, I mean, it's something that's always kind of under your control, and you just work hard to be where you are. And uh, team did a great job helping me transition and especially Schmaltz. I think he really carried me out there and uh, really, really made it easy on me. All right, raise your hand if you have a question for the student athletes. Tom? Tom Miller, Grand Forks Herald. Uh, Andrew, uh, how about scoring a goal? Uh, was that, uh, that part of the plan and what, uh, what was your reaction? Yeah, I think uh, it's always part of the plan, but I mean it's hard to execute obviously, but it felt great. I actually told, uh, kind of joking around, told Troy Stetcher before the game that I was going to score and do the sword through my belt, but uh, I didn't really think about it. It was just kind of reactionary. It was, it, was, it was pretty cool. All right, let's go right here. I'm Sean Davich, uh, U.S. College Hockey Online. Uh, first of all, Zane, uh, congratulations on your honor. Um, just tell me how it feels to be returning to the Frozen Four. Uh, it feels uh, pretty special. Um, going back to last year, we knew that we had a, a strong core uh, of players coming back that could really push uh, push the envelope for for this season. So I think uh, collectively as a group, it, it feels incredible uh, to give back for for all our hard work that we put in throughout the year. Um, the long practices, uh, the bag skates with uh, the coaches and stuff. We've put in a lot of work, and I think our team's really. Uh, come together and uh, it feels pretty pretty dang special to get back there. Right down front. Dan yeah, Gunnarsson, 740 The Fan. Um, I'll ask Zane this question. Being able to do this against St. Cloud State to get back to the Frozen Four, <coughs> does it make it a little bit sweeter? I know one of your teammates had said that playing them was definitely something they were thinking about just because they had knocked you guys out of the Frozen face off the weekend prior. Yeah, uh, I think certainly. Um, as a hockey player, you're, you're competitive by nature and um, going back a previous week when we played them in the frozen face-off, it was obviously uh, a tough loss that we had. We felt, uh, you know, we we had it in our control uh, to control the game, control the outcome. Um, but that was hockey, and uh, you know what? If we we got another chance at them, that would be that would be great. So uh, we just took our opportunity. Uh, guys came prepared, came to the rink, uh, came into the weekend really prepared, and uh, I think that all started with the coaching staff here and. Uh, really just uh, went from there, so it was good. We're going to go back to Dom, and then we'll go back to Steve. Luke, Dom is WDAY. Describe the last two days playing in this building and what kind of juice they gave you guys. 
Um, you know, obviously playing uh, so close to home um, with the fan support that we have, uh, you know, it, it was crazy. It was, uh, you know, the fans were so loud and sometimes it's hard to hear yourself talk on the ice and, uh, you know, it's just uh, a great amount of support uh, for the fans, so it was pretty cool. Steve? Luke, can you talk about the uh, goal you scored and the fact that you guys scored a couple of dirty goals this weekend and, and, and what that says about your efforts? Yeah, I mean, uh, it was just kind of a scrum in the corner. Um, I just tried to pop out and, and uh, you know, the puck popped out to me and I just tried to get it through that first defender. Um, I think it hit the goalie's shoulder or something and went up in the air and uh, kind of just trickled in. So uh, a little bit of luck on that one, but I'll take it. So. Up front? Uh, oh, yes, I can okay. Take it. <laughs> Chris Murphy from uh, Forum. Uh, Zane, this question is for you. Um, was there something extra special about doing what you did in this building that you have so many members in? Yeah, I think certainly. Um, number one, it was uh, it was great to play uh, in our home state, um, playing for UND. It was uh, it was great to have the venue here in Fargo because we could have so many fans uh, support us and. It was absolutely incredible, but then uh, going back to my junior days here as well, I was kind of new to this rink. Uh, it's like the second home when I played my two years here, so it was uh, it was pretty special to come back and, and obviously see the fan support, but uh, see some familiar faces around the rink. Um, it was it was great. It was just one big happy family back here. Time for a couple more questions for the players. Same, but they go ahead and score right off the bat. What's going through your mind, and how do you bounce back from it? Uh, don't let this next shot in, I guess. <laughs> that was number one. But, uh, just in that situation, I mean, um, it's playoff hockey. It's that time of year to have fun. It's what we all worked hard for throughout the year. So uh, just had to kind of reset, refocus, and uh, just kind of go from there. I mean, uh, you're going to have bounces, and you're going to have ups and downs throughout the game. and throughout your course of the year, but uh, the best is thing I've maybe learned over my past three years here is just stay the course, um, work your butt off, and, and just keep going because you never know what could happen. So I think uh, myself and our team really believe that and had that mission in mind uh, throughout this weekend and throughout this year and uh, had some positive results. Any more questions? One more? Last question. One more for Zane. Uh, not just tonight, but over the whole course of the season, can you talk about the fan support you've had and how that's helped you out? <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I think uh, you look at the, the attendance rates and stuff throughout uh, whole college hockey, it's, uh, it's no question UND is number one for a reason. Um, you go across the whole state, it's, uh, it's UND fighting through uh, uh, colors and, and bleeding green and stuff, so it's, it's pretty special to uh, to be a part of, uh, not only as, as a player, but uh, uh, as a teammate for all these guys and all these coaches. It's uh, it's pretty special to have all the coaching staff used to play here, and they've been around it, and uh, they know the culture, and um, it's it's great to be a part of uh, a great teammates and teammates and stuff too. So, um, you know what, it's it's pretty special is all I can say. And uh, with uh, with that, it's thank you guys. All right, that will do it for our questions for the student athletes. Thank you, gentlemen. We're going to let them get back and enjoy things after this West Regional Championship. And they can, uh, if they so choose, they can stay here or they can excuse themselves either. Or we got some questions for Coach Haxtell at this point in time. All right, we're going to go And who wants to start with questions for Coach Haxtell, Don? Coach, I had a question. Just, you guys, do you feel like your team played angry this weekend after what happened? I know you turned the page, but you get a sense that that was how the team played this weekend. Uh, are you referring to back to last weekend? I'm referring to just how you played these two games here. I think we just played with an edge. We played the game the way it was meant to be played. We played with a purpose. Um, you can use any terminology that you want, but we played with a purpose um, as we came into this tournament. It's not easy. We, uh, we played against two real good hockey teams this weekend that also competed real hard, but absolutely, we played with a purpose at an edge. 
going back to that uh, first goal scored so quickly in the first period, was there any sense of panic on the bench? Was there any sense of, oh, okay, um, anything like that, maybe a recoil to it, or did no. you guys just brace and go from there? No, absolutely. This group's been through, you know, an awful lot over, not just this season, you know, the bulk of this group has been together over the last uh, two seasons. So, no, none whatsoever. Uh, if anything, maybe it uh, gave us a little bit of a jolt. You know, I, I thought we were, uh, we were just a little bit slow in the first four or five minutes of this hockey game. We, we uh, weren't closing, we weren't uh, squeezing things in our own defensive zone. And uh, I thought, you know, after that first five minutes, we got going. Uh, and, uh, you know, our, our mentality was good all the way through. Tom? Coach, uh, thoughts on Andrew Panzarella and uh, how about his goal scoring, too? Probably not a guy counted on in that situation there. That was that. Well, somebody said it out here. That was part of the game plan. Um, <laughs> no, it's you know what is special. I mean, he's you know, uh, you know, I, I talked about him. Uh, I think with maybe the ESPN crew before this weekend as one of the guys that sets the tone for our hockey team. And I think you know I got some cross-eyed looks because he's not in in our lineup all that much. But um, his work ethic, uh, the type of teammate that he is. Uh, those are the things that set the bar. It's not by accident that he could step into a situation like tonight uh, and be successful. That's not easy, uh, especially when you haven't been in the lineup on a consistent basis uh, or you haven't been in the lineup lately. That says all you need to know about the amount of extra work uh, that that young man does uh, and uh, the job that he and Brad have done together to be prepared. Steve? Dave, was, Dave, was there some uh, illness running through your team today? A little bit. Talk about that? No, it's. Uh, I prefer not to. It's not new for us. We've been dealing with it over the last few weeks. So uh, normally, I'm not a big fan of uh, uh, the week off between the regional tournament uh, and the next game. Uh, but I think in this case, uh, hopefully, it'll be a good break for us. Ben, coach, you look for situations in college in, in sports that set your team apart from other teams. You talk about a guy like Panzarella, kids who have stepped up and been able to play throughout the year when their numbers called on. Is that something you think sets your team apart? Well, uh, you know, I'm not going to uh, claim it as specific to our team, but do I think that's in our locker room? Absolutely. Um, you look at the difference makers that we had uh, in uh, in this game tonight, Andrew Panzarella. I thought Colton St. Clair uh, played like a man possessed tonight. Um, you know, not just because he scored the empty netter, uh, but he played hard. He, uh, he just played with such passion. And you, you see that uh, throughout our locker room. So, yeah, it's a real common trait and theme of, of this group. Talk about Zane being named most outstanding player in the regional and now having one of the hottest goalies in the nation going into the Frozen Four. Well, you know, Zane, Zane's been one of our most important guys uh, throughout the year. I mean, he's, uh, he's an anchor for us. Um, we, all, we, all, we all trust him back there. And he gives ourselves, you know, he gives us an opportunity uh, if we're if we're stumbling a little bit to kind of regain our composure and get back after it. Um, and uh, he does it time and time again. Certainly, he did it this weekend. He's deserving of that honor. Um, and you know, uh, I guess I would, you know, I would uh, argue whether or not he's he's the hottest goaltender. I just think he's playing the way Zane plays. Um, you know, and that's uh, that's a good thing for us as we continue moving forward. Tom. Coach, to go back to the Frozen Four with this group, your thoughts on that after what happened last year? Well, keep moving forward. I mean, you know, we talked about it. You now, your first question, I said, we played with a purpose, played with an edge. I mean, we didn't uh, we didn't come into this weekend uh, to win one game or two games. I mean, we we came in with a purpose. Uh, that purpose is still in front of us. Um, it's a it's a huge challenge, uh, but it's a real exciting one that uh, I know our group is going to be excited to attack. Time for one more question for Coach Hagstone. Any other questions?